My name is Berta Tulmantaite and I am a co-founder of NARA, a space for independent journalism. Independent journalism is called independent because it has no ties with any political parties or um, corporations. So it means um, that this kind of journalism doesn't work uh, accordingly to someone's agenda, um, but only serves the society and the audience. Nara before we were called Nanuk, it was born from out of necessity uh, to have a space where we could do journalism, where we could create journalism that we believe in. It was hard for us as a team and individuals, well, individuals first and then as a team, uh, but as individuals first, it was hard for us to find a place in Lithuania where we could feel comfortably working. Um, it started with two of us and both of us, we were working as freelancers with foreign media. Um, I was traveling a lot and working abroad in Asia and South America and, and Europe or, or, or North America. And here in Lithuania, I was lacking a space where I could do things uh, that I would like to do. For example, I studied multimedia journalism in China as my master's degree and I really wanted to spend my time creating big long-term multimedia documentary projects and there was no possibility to do that in Lithuania. Sometimes we can make choices uh, based on, for example, our feelings rather than clicks or views of the publications, right? So sometimes you might feel that we need to talk about this topic or this issue. It's not going to be popular. It's not going to be a top uh, uh, article uh, in, the, in, the, in the website, but it's really important to talk about it because there is a void, there is emptiness around this topic, so we need to talk about it. Financial questions um, while doing independent journalism is really sometimes painful <laughs> and hard to talk about because often it's a struggle. It's really important that the audience pays for the publications they read, for the work of independent journalists, um, because in paying they show that they need this, that it's important for them, right? And by paying, for example, for us and paying for our work, um, what we also do is we create a community and first it's important that people who pay for, um, for our publication, for our work, that they would also be involved in our work. So it means that we are always actively looking for the feedback. Uh, we always ask uh, for the audience, um, of the audience what is important to them. Other money comes from, um, uh, might come from different um, funds. Uh, we might get scholarships or funding uh, for some specific projects uh, that we do. Uh, for example, um, a project where we're going to talk about human rights. It's just the directions that we have to take, but we always try to keep the mm, limitations as uh, far away as possible and to have enough space to improvise inside of those limitations and this is where the creativity comes in and this is where us as uh, 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 journalists start to be uh, creative also because then we start to see topics from different angles and perspectives and then think is does this thing fit in it is for example um, a right to have um, clean air in the city, a human right, you know, and then you can play with this and see what fits in this uh, specific frame that is required by one, some sort of um, fund, organization, NGOs or, or whatnot.